Wash the car with soap and water. Rinse well and dry. The car must be free of any dirt, oil, grease, wax, or tar. Before sanding, apply three strips of masking tape on the edges to protect the surfaces nearby. All areas surrounding the repair must be well protected. Carefully sand the rusted area. Use a sander with a 24 grit sanding disc. Be careful to only sand the damaged area. Use a sander or sanding block with a 180 grit dry sanding paper to level the edges. When the area is well sanded, wipe once again with a clean cloth. Use a clean and non-fibrous mixing board. Mix the necessary amount of polyester finishing putty and of hardener. Use a spreader and apply the putty evenly and firmly to maximize adhesion and to ensure minimal air entrapment. Use proper quantity and spread evenly. Let dry from 15 to 30 minutes. Use a sander or sanding block with a 180 grit dry sanding paper to level the surface. And wipe well again. Repeat the last two steps if necessary. Apply a coat of corrosion fighting edge primer on the bare metal. This will act as an adhesion promoter. Let dry for 15 minutes. At a distance of 15 centimeters, apply three coats of surface primer with a smooth sweeping motion. Allow to dry 15 minutes between each coat. The surfacer primer must dry for eight hours before sanding. Use a flexible sanding block the area to be painted must be sanded with a 400 grit dry sanding paper. Make sure the edges are well sanded. Remove all masking paper and masking tape and wipe well with a clean and humid cloth. The vehicle must be free of sanding dust. The vehicle must be masked once again before painting. One last cleaning with a clean and humid cloth at a distance of 10 centimeters with a smooth sweeping motion, apply several coats of paint to cover the area. Allow each coat 15 minutes to dry. Wait 15 minutes before applying the clear coat. At a distance of 10 centimeters, apply two wet coats of clear coat within an interval of 15 minutes. Wait 15 minutes before applying the blending solvent. Apply one coat of blending solvent to the edges. This will remove the overspray. Here is the final result.